So as we know, Roku devices, whether it's a Roku stick, a Roku TV, are very locked down. They're great official streaming devices. As you see here, we've got access to loads of apps, official apps, streaming apps ready to be used. Some are geo-locked to your country, some you can use, some you cannot. But what do we want to be able to do? What we want to be able to do is try new apps, maybe get some apps which aren't available to us, some apps which aren't available in our country, upload some apps which we want to test out, see if it works on our Roku, that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do that for you. I'm going to show you how it's set it up. We're going to open up the developer options. We're going to unlock it so we can install some applications as well. When it comes to the applications, we will leave it in your hands, but stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I mean. Before we do that, though, if you are interested in this sort of content, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Check out the channel. We're doing regular Roku videos as well as Fire Stick videos, streaming videos, Android TV now. And if you're a regular watcher, do remember to watch through because you may be interested in a Roku device going forward. So what we're going to do, first things first, is we're going to open up the developer options. That's the first step we need to do. Then there's a few more little steps. It's fairly straightforward. Difficulty level maybe five. So all of you should be able to do this. So what you need is your remote. So on that remote, you need to hit a pattern of buttons. So we're going to hit the home button. So you're going to push the home button three times. Then you're going to push up, up, right, left, right, left, right. Did you get that? OK, let's do it one more time. So you're going to push the home button three times. One, two, three. Up, up, right, left, right, left, right. What I will do, I will list that directly underneath this video as well. So it will be in the description for you. Um, so I'll write out how to do it. So it's up, up, up. So it's home button three times, up, up, right, left, right, left, right. Fairly straightforward. OK, let me get my head out the way. So what we're going to do, as you'll see there, is you can enable installer and restart. Let's have a quick look across the top here. The development application installer allows developers to test their own applications to enable the installer. Select enable installer and restart below. If you have enabled the installer after your Roku player restarts, you can access the installer by pointing a web browser on the same subnet to this URL. OK, so what you will need to do now, once you've enabled install and restart, you need to save this number here, this HTTP number. That's a web address and save the username. So write down the username Roku Dev and write down the HTTP and you will need to enter it on a computer. So you'll need to enter that HTTP on a computer as I've done there. So it's a 192.168.1.73. This needs to be available on the same network as your streaming device. So on the same Wi-Fi, the same internet. You can't be doing it for someone's Roku in another house or on another internet. It needs to be on the same one. You can try it on your mobile phone as well. It's not a problem. But before we click enter on that web page, we must finish off the bit here. So we need to enable, install and restart. Obviously, read the security warning. Installing and running applications from unknown sources may put your device at data at risk. By selecting continue, you agree that you are solely responsible for any damage to your device or loss of data that may result from using these applications. Click continue. Enable, install and restart. And there we go. It will ask you to enter a password. Enter that password as well. Um, I've already done the password when I tested, so make sure you enter a password because we will need that password in a second. OK, that's fully rebooted. So what we're going to do, we go back to that internet page, the 192.168.1.73. We click Enter. First, it will pop up asking you to sign in. OK, so you need to put in the Roku Dev, which it told us at the beginning, plus the password. OK, whatever password you saved, then you click sign in. So now we have development application installer here. You can upload so you can upload your files, but you need to find the correct files which are compatible with a Roku device. I'm going to start going through Roku now and Roku apps. So make sure you hit subscribe because I'm going to find more and more. You might want to upload a VPN or you might want to upload some form of third party app, which we're going to be on the lookout for. We've got to find the right ones which have the right framework for Roku. 
APK files, your normal APK file would not upload directly to Roku unless they are compatible. So it's trial and error. Some work, some do not. So you need to test those out. Um, we're going to find, say, for instance, where I've got on mine, I have 2B TV on mine in the UK, but I will need, obviously, the VPN to get it working. So we need to find a VPN to put on there. But I'm going to be working with Award VPN, um, which is a free VPN, and we're going to get them made compatible for the Roku device as well. Um, I'm spinning talk with the developers, so that would be quite interesting to see if that works. And we can upload straight from here. So if you have some files you want to do, test out some apps, let me know how you get on. Then I will make my own little store where we can download applications directly for Roku devices and we can get them uploaded. Remember, when you upload anything, it's all at your own risk. Make sure you have the license to use the content within them. If you're going to upload anything which is unofficial, make sure you're allowed to watch it within your country as well. Right, back on our Roku device. If you want to disable that developer mode, that developer options, it's the same again. So it's home button three times, up, up, right, left, right, left, right. And then you can clickly, clickly, then you can simply disable installer and restart. So you click disable installer and restart, boom, that will now restart your device. And you are back on a device which is without the developer options done. So we've got more videos coming for Roku as we speak. We've got loads more secret menus like that. We're going to be doing loads more app installs once I get the correct applications for you. So do stay tuned. We're going to be developing this series very, very big. And we're going to start getting some applications tweaked so they do work on the device. Perfect. Before then, if you are after a VPN to keep yourself safe online, once you've subscribed to the channel, do remember you've got IP Vanish VPN linked underneath. And this is one of the cheapest offers online for it at $3.33 a month, linked directly underneath. We are partnered with them, we are affiliated with them, so do check them out, linked underneath for you. Plus, plus underneath I've got my Discord, things like that. If you have any questions about this, come check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.